This is Ben from Turbo Dynamics. We will be showing you how to update your TD flasher to the latest firmware. This new firmware will allow you to flash a dash to get the new features. That's, of course, if you bought a dash flash from Turbo Dynamics or a TD dealer. So the first step is to plug your flasher to the USB port of your computer. So now that the flasher is plugged into the USB port, we will be going on the computer and opening the TD updater and clicking find device. So this one currently has the 463 firmware. Uh, so we will be updating to the 491 release. That's at the bottom. That's uh, freshly available. Click program firmware and click yes. Okay, so the process is completed. At this point, you can unplug the USB port. And then your flasher to your, um, to your machine. And you plug it into the diagnostic port as usual or to your uh, anti-lag harness, depending on the setup you've got. So pretty much you're plugging this back on your machine. Okay, so now we opened up the gap flasher and uh, we're going to turn on the machine. With the machine turned on, we're going to say search for a tool. Okay, now it's loading up. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you need to send me the ECU infos. So you're going to scan the ECU infos from the ECU. And it's also going to scan the dash. So your comment is going to be, uh, for example, dash, flash. And click OK. So right there, I just uploaded my info to um, the dealer tool that I got. So basically, I'll get all your information available for your machine. Now, you can also email to me. And send an email. Once that's done, I'll send you your tune and then you'll have to update your flasher again to get the new tool. So now that you sent my the ECU infos and uh, that I sent you back the dash flash, you're going to plug back your flasher into the USB port of your computer and then open up the um, TD GAF flasher updater and find device again. And then you're going to click program flash files. As you can see, the cluster flash been added. And then click OK. And then it's done. So we unplug it and bring it on your sled, plug it in your sled and open up the TD flasher. So now that you've updated your TD flasher with the latest dash flash that we just sent you, uh, you're going to need to restart your phone, unplug your flasher from the machine or if it was already unplugged now you can plug it back in but be sure to restart your phone or ipad before you attempt to reopen the gap flasher because it will need to reset the bluetooth settings so now i've already done that and i'm gonna search for the tool and reconnect go to ecu flash and there there it is the TD cluster flash. Yes. See the, the flash failed and that could happen. Don't panic. Try it again. See, now it completed, it's been done properly. We'll say upload succeeded. Continue. And there you go. You're ready to go. 
Now that we flash the dash, we're going to go flash the jukebox now. That's all the TD tunes into one file. So then your dash can change tunes with just one button as we'll show you soon. The jukebox, basically to get that, is you need to buy a TD multi-map bundle. And in the bundle, we're going to give you a jukebox. Once in a while, when you're flashing the ECU, it can give you an error code. Don't worry, wait a little bit, try it again, and it should work. It's pretty, pretty rare that we get an error message flashing in the ECU. As you can see on the dash, it's more common. You might have to try once or twice, or even maybe three times, but it will eventually flash. So now that's all done, we're ready to go. So we'll be showing you the dash features. So now we're changing the tunes with just one button. And uh, as you can see, the boost, uh, big boost number, very easy to read even when you're writing. Um, you can also get on the right side. Okay, there we go. So, um, you know, you can change it on this side to go to RPM or speed, mile per hour in this case. Um, so that's pretty much it. You're ready to go.